Could I dive right into this situation? The new Kanye West album, which at one point in my life, I swore to myself I would never listen to his music ever again due to his anti-Semitic remarks and imagery even over the years. I mean, how many times has he changed the artwork for this particular album due to the calligraphy and the actual artwork inspired by an artist who apparently was a fan of Adolf Hitler. So anyways, I have a notepad that I'm gonna write down notes as I listen so that I'm not interrupting the flow of the album. And when the album's all wrapped up, I can review my notes. My co-host Buttons is not present with me. So I'm gonna have to do this solo. If you're wondering why I have a towel around my neck, it's because I have a neck injury. I've got an ice pack right on the back of my neck that the towel is doing a wonderful job holding down. And with that said, let's get into this bullshit. Okay. You already know what I'm on. Tell them no way to fund me. Pulling up drop top Porsche. Just that glory. I'ma come through and just black out. Just black out. Decent. Decent beginning to the record. I'll give that a 7 out of 10. Slow down, you on your way to an overdose. Plus these texts getting way too emotional. Way too much time alone. Told the guys that you know I'm headed home. I got a trauma bond. Look at what I stumbled on. Another nigga chilling on your couch with pajamas on. Where you get that money from? Looking at how far we come. I bought your first foster wrong. Guess we had an awesome run. Ever since I lost my mom, you was like my foster mom. Hold me like your only son. I like this. Homie like the homies in the shy when they hold their guns. Wasn't it always this way? Putting it all on display. Using up all your sick days. I like this song. I'm gonna give this one an eight. Listen to all my mixtapes. Supposed to be always okay. this way. Supposed to be always this way. Couldn't it all be so simple? Could have used the last part for the intro. He beating on your window like Chief Chief in the kitchen with the beaties in the endo. But that was me when I was burning CDs for my friends, though. Now I can't just take it on the chin like Jay Leno. <laughs> now everybody I like the, the flows. I like the production the on this These song. Niggas where we can folk. I like the, the artsy vocal production. <laughs> Weird effects on the choir. I think the interesting yeah. production decisions are being made on this one. I give that an eight. I'm satisfied. This album is flowing so much better without everybody starting it off. I thought that song was whack. Personally. I'm just here to get paid. I'm just here to get paid. I'm just here to get paid. I like this one. You know why I'm here. I like this Baby, one. Baby, you're the hottest in the city. You got my intention when you're with me. All this red is spinning, got us dizzy. <coughs> Dollars all she do it for. I throw this cash. I think this is one of the better songs on the record. I might give this a 9. This version of the album is so much better. I heard like an old bootleg version and maybe four or five months ago. Out of morbid curiosity, I can't help myself. If Kanye puts out something, regardless of the crazy shit he says, I can't help it. I, I, I still have to check it out. This might end up being one of the strongest songs on the album. Wow. I love this Daft Punk outro. Cool. Okay. That's a nine. Maybe a ten. Oh, this fucking song. This is with Northwest on vocal duty, I believe. I do like the sample. Bestie, Miss Miss 
I don't like the vocal on this. I'm sorry. I do like the production. I like the I like the minimalism of late era Kanye ness to this. DJ Simfat says North North's versus is cute. It's almost good though. I just feel like it needed a four to eight hours more in the incubator. I feel like it was served undercooked to me. That's what it feels like, to be honest. So this is the, the Ty Dolla Sign half of the song. I like Kanye's sampling of his voice here. That's cool. This part's okay. Yeah, this half of the song is better than the first half. But it's not cohesive as a whole. Like, what does the first half have to do with the second half? Don't get me wrong, I like a through composed song sometimes, but there doesn't seem to be anything that binds them together. I'm, I'm gonna give that song a six. Oh, this song's pretty catchy, actually. This one's pretty memorable. That's a good hook. I've only heard this once before, and I remember it. And I like the background vocals. Beautiful naked, big-titted women just don't fall out of the sky, you know? Sky, you know? Sky, you know? And beautiful big titty, but naked women just don't fall like the sky, you know. Tell me how you know. I'm gonna give this an eight. I like the hook. I like the fun aspect of it. Beautiful big titty, but naked women just don't fall like the sky. The beautiful big titty woman thing is fun. I'm down. I like it. A little creepy, maybe. This could be some sort of under the radar message to Kim that she's eventually going to come back to him. Maybe I'm reading too much into that. I do like the song though, and I like all the vocals. I like that one. All right, track six, Hood Rat. You look like a piece of hallelujah. Wrapped up in, have mercy, Lord. She fell in love with the sword. I sliced, I diced, I hit it from the back. Whore. Whore. Oh my God, Kanye. Six and a half, seven? I'll give it a seven. Do it. Track seven. Ugh. This is terrible. What the fuck is this? I don't like anything about it. Sounds flat and two dimensional to me. I don't like the chord progression. I don't like the production. I'm giving this a 3 out of 10. Sorry, Noah and Marar, I love y'all, but I don't approve of the song for my personal consumption. If I show what she work, I think she just might quit. I just bought my bitch a bitch. Uh, spending all this money like it's free to me. That shit fall off trees to me. This one, it's all up in a party. I'm finna kill the fun. Yeah. This outro is wacky art sauce, so it's going up. It's going up to a 4.5 out of 10. This outro is charming. I'll give it a 5 out of 10. I'm not going above a 5 on Do It. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. Paperwork, track eight. Let's a private location. It's a no relation vacation. Went crazy, now let's go amazing. You can pick out your favorite purse. I wish this album was a little deeper. Ooh, I like the artsy stuff. 
Yeah, I like that. That hideous guitar, digital 90s rolling drum machine guitar. I like it. But I wish there were more deep Kanye spiritual songs to balance out the uh, songs that are encouraging capitalism. And shopping culture and such. Okay. I like the background vocals. I think I'm at a six for that one. Burn, let's go. Ooh, I like this. I like this. I especially like it in context from what precedes it. Who's not entertained by my pain? Who ain't cash a check off my name? When my campaign turned to campaign, I burn eight billion to take off my chain. Are we supposed to judge this record as the entire three part series? Or do we judge each album as its own? individual entity. I'd like to posit that question to the audience. Solid eight. Good job. Is that a bone thug sample? I like this. I like, I like how it was sequenced as well in the track list. I think the other reason why he's doing a slow rollout too like this is because he's, he's desperate for our opinion on how we perceive him now as a cultural figure and his work. Post the anti-Semitic stuff. That's so that it will make him work harder to make the next one and the next one even better. Which is good for everyone, but also... Man, it can frustrate him, which is nothing new. I like this hook. Reminds me of little, little Dirk from 10 years ago. It's got that Chicago. Uh, is that, I don't think it's, is that drill? I don't think it's drill, but I don't want to speak out of turn there. You know what I mean? I don't want to be using terminology that I don't. This just reminds me of little Dirk from 10 years ago. Let's just leave it at that. In a way that I like, though. I think the fact that Kanye has the highest Spotify numbers right now, just like when Travis Scott peaked almost a year ago when his newest record came out, it proves how obsessed we are with the darkness in the human psyche, right? You could do something horrible. You could say something horrible. But when, when you have that cool factor, apparently, people are fascinated by it but they it, it's almost like negative energy has a stronger gravitational pull to it and that is born in the data that we see from spotify listenership and how that reflects what i'm saying about the psychological situation that we collectively share in America, quite frankly, okay? This song's generic as hell. Six. Mid. Medium. Me med. Med men. The weed dispensary. Oh, this is the, is this the song that samples Iron Man? I think this is the Iron Man 1983 sample song. Shit. Okay, it loses another point for not clearing the sample with Ozzy Osbourne or 
That's me too. Well, Karen are getting his wishes, quite frankly. And she says she ain't something I did. She gon' take it up the air. Five, like five out of ten. I mean, the song is actually obnoxious, baby. I turn water to Chris. This for what they did to Chris. They can't do shit with this. Got my kids in a fake school. We ain't. This song is ugly. Four. I'm at a four out of ten on this one. I actually really don't like it. It's such a, a shame because he probably has enough material to make a great record. He's just unable to see past his delusion on what is crap and what is not crap. Because he thinks he's the greatest artist since Leonardo da Vinci. This is like the full the full heel turn track where he's just saying "fuck you." The mix on the vocals is also terrible. This sounds so under bass. This is shit. I don't like this. That was unpleasant. Did not like that. This is like the the fashion catwalk Kanye. He loves this like designer. This is designer Kanye. It's not a bad song. You've gone too far. You've gone too far and you should hang your head in shame. For these wounds I cannot say you've gone too far. How long is this thing? You should Jesus, there's fucking three and a half minutes more of this song. You should Kind of an 808s and heartbreaks up update 2024 version. One time, 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 Be at a seven on this one. Solid. I like the, the beat switch up. It's cool. Now you wanna put your heart on the line. God knows the way you are. I will wait. I will wait. I will wait. I'm still suffocating on your heavy line sounds hella distorted I think on purpose but it is long it's a lot of this I don't know if it needs to be this long okay some clean shit in there that's nice I need some clean stuff it's just too fuzzed out for too long good don't die track 14 It sounds like a fucking Coldplay song. In the dark of night, these thoughts of mine keep me up all night. What is this fucking Don't clocks? What is this? Die. The speed of sound? It's a decent song. I like these vocals a lot. This is Ty Dolla Sign, by the way. Is he even on this fucking record? Like, I don't know who's singing, right? So, that could be layers of Ty Dolla Sign? I guess. Not even necessarily. Could be Charlie Brown. I don't know how I feel about this song. Six and a half? Like, it's good, but if I never heard it again, I'd be fine, I guess. 
my life would move on. Track 15, probably. I feel like I beat a murder, murder. Fucking only beat you never heard of, heard of. That Pope, like the leader of the Vatican, can he do it again? Everything I do, they do, guess Yeezy set the trend. And we in this bitch again, time to get rich again. Throw your motherfucking hands. They looking like prey, I guess that's why they praying. And when you flying private, it can't be no the land. You dress cold upscale. Used to shop at all D's. I ran up some numbers, now I got what you all need. Get your home, like girl, the boric acid, save the summer. New apps, you dropping fast, it's time like to horns. come up. Black out. Passing out and then she waking up gorgeous. I'm not racist, it's a preference And my bitch looking like a reference Don't I make the rules like a referee Come what get on fuck? me, shawty, I got needs She a loud mouth, I need a sign and seal A couple brand new deals Gotta get this shit off my chest I got some shit to spill Passing out NDAs, nigga deal with it after I just fucked the world Raw, she need a morning after. I quote it, so I don't one know. go. Let you have your fun, no. Six and Run a half. Block like my tumbo. You had it on loan. Every day in New Jersey. It's almost on really my way to New York. I, I was late to every meeting in my Queens tunnel. You might have to tell your man a Pinocchio. That was a jokey joke. That wasn't nowhere near as funny when you broke, he broke. Crying in high school over a high school bitch, and she's still in the dark taking night school maybe I, bitch. Uh, maybe I give it a Look seven. at how we made it, like we might will, bitch. <laughs> this song is an emotional roller coaster for me. My soulmate wasn't it does a thing yet. that makes me cringe. It does a thing I like. King, king in a different time. We got multiple wives too, just at different times. Picture this: if every wrong got a different bitch. Do that make me a panigamous? Without the deals, I guarantee I'm still niggerish. What the fuck? Shit is fucking ridiculous. Ugh, this man is ridiculous. This man is ridiculous. Which sometimes comes up with exciting results. That's the thing. Bipolar, anti-Semite. And I'm still the king. Still the king. Well, what's your point? Still is the song good? Prove it! Instead of being lazy, do something cool. The song is so medium. It's fine. It's a song. It's a piece of music. It exists. I think I know what my rating is, guys. I think I know what I'm going to give it. I know, I think I know the rating I'm gonna give it. Yeah, all right. Um, I give that album a 6.7 out of 10. I'm gonna go pee and then I'm, we're gonna discuss why. All right, folks, here's what I have to say. When I hear songs like Paid, I get excited. I think, hey, that's a brilliant piece of, piece of tune. That's a brilliant song, right? I get excited. But the rest of the album doesn't really hold up to that standard. Paid should be the standard. Every song should hit the same level. I mean, that, that to me should be the bar. And unfortunately, most of the album doesn't really live up to it. It's got some good moments. I liked Keys to My Life. I like Back to Me. I like Burn. I like fucking something. And then the rest of it is just kind of medium. If, especially if you're gonna do braggadocio type music where it's the, the soul of it. A lot of it had to do with consumerism, flashy shit, jewelry and stuff. It's like, that's cool, have, have that. But you have to balance that out with some humanity. And I feel like if you're going to end a, an album with a track like King and just kind of not really prove that you're still the king, I, I feel like giving this a 6.7 is like totally fair. I think I'm being pretty down the middle here. I think there's some people who will think it's somewhere in the sevens, maybe like a 7.5. I can't see anyone giving this above an 8. And I see a lot of people thinking it's dog shit and they're in, totally entitled to thinking that as well.
So uh, there you have it. Vultures, 